Hello and welcome to Misery Plays Need for Speed High Stakes. Well, the stakes must have been very high last time because, well, I came fourth in the championship, which was a fail, and the last race had so much damage it cost me more money to repair the car than I earned. Let's try and have a better race this time. Maybe have the possibility of actually winning the championship. And then getting some. Well, I guess we'll have to upgrade the car. Because. These guys are tough. These guys are tough. Particularly the yellow Ferrari, which. I can't remember who was driving it. It wasn't my nemesis though, but he might be my new nemesis. The nemesis drives a Chevy Corvette. Three, two, one, go! Okay, we're away. Now, the rule I learned from last time, don't waste time trying to pass these guys cleanly. Just go for it. If it means you lose the safe drive bonus, so be it. You can't waste time trying to pass it. That being said, if it is possible to pass everybody cleanly, that would be lovely. I'm still... That was it, Ranger. Ranger in his yellow Ferrari is surprisingly quick. I will still try and keep the car off the walls, mainly because it slows me down. Not so much because of the damage, because as I said, we can't waste time on these guys. They'll probably hit our car. And we will... There it is. Lose the safe drive bonus. Alright, bullet up front. No, sorry, bullets in front of us. Nemesis is probably up front. Dang it, hit the wall, lost speed. Okay, gotta be careful on this turn, and I'm sure if I run wide, I can actually cause a lot of damage to the car. But if you hit that bridge support, it will flip the car. You're in third place. It's the final lap. What is, what is that bell? Was that... Was that like a tra train or a school or... Somebody robbing the bank? Uh, okay, Nemesis is not in a blue format this time. Yeah, I can, I can use the horn too, mate. Look, it goes beep, beep, beep. I don't know if going this side is quicker, but they always do, so maybe it is. Okay, well we've gone a lot better this race. We are in second place. We have a chance. I mean, first is right there. I can catch him. No air time that time. Ah, no! I don't think I'll catch him. Hopefully I can keep my second place. Your best I got him on the outside of the final turn. I did not think I would. I was just like, I'm going to go for it to make sure that Nemesis can't pass me. But I got bullet. Three, two, one, Point go. one of a second. That's good. That's good.
I'm happy with that. I'm pleased with that. That is a good result. Unexpected, probably undeserved, but yeah, I'll take it. I'll take it. Congratulations! You've got a top time for this track. I was still faster in the M5. I did not like that M5, but it must have been a quick car. Okay, we can get the next upgrade, and I will do that because, well, I think this car needs it, really. Probably put racing stripes on it. Yep. <coughs> okay, we've now got a slightly better top speed. So hopefully we are now the fastest Ferrari and we will not have to worry about Rancher getting ahead of us. Because I am worried about Rancher getting ahead of me. Maybe it's just because he somehow beat me last time on Project Park. Oh right, raining. That's three, two, one, go. Going to make driving fun. Okay. I might try avoiding the shortcut. Ease it around the turn. It really wants to understeer now on that turn. So I'm really going to have to baby it around the turns. Like that. To make sure we don't run off the track. Again, whether or not we will succeed in getting the safe drive bonus is not an issue. It's losing the time because these guys are really hard to catch up to and pass. And I did not realize just how much the rain affects this. When I actually drove it in the rain in the hot pursuit, I was driving the Falcon XR8. It's just very understeering. I mean, I am, I am, you'll see the brake lights flashing, it's because I'm trying to get it to break without skidding sideways which was an issue I had happen last time around on this championship <coughs> I mean he's just hey he missed a couple that's great Yeah, last time around I just had You're in first place. It's the final lap. I just had a lot of difficulties um, with braking and the car wanted to skid out. So I'm actually just trying to tap the brakes to make sure the back does not come out like that. That was that was not good. That was worrying. Yep, that was, that was quite alarming. But we're still good. We have not hit any walls. We've not even hit any colours yet either. 
And I think this, you know, this, you know what this game is? It's like a great public service announcement on the dangers of driving fast in the wet. That's what it is. You know, you want to get young pea players to slow down in the wet and not try hooning and you know drifting and all that in the wet. Just make him play this. Just make him play this. Let's see. Just. how dangerous it is to do that stuff. I mean, I've had to lose so much speed for that corner there. The cars behind have gained three seconds on me. Just to make sure that the back of this car does not come around. I'm happy with just trying to, to slow it down there. Just trying to slow it down through there. Ooh, the back just came out there. I was tapping the brakes as well. That's your best lap. You won the race. And we did so cleanly. Which does mean, as a nice bonus, we get the safe drive bonus. Because no one hit us. We didn't hit any walls. Congratulations! You've got a top time for this track! Can't be that great. I mean, I was driving in the wet, so you've got to be slow. Yeah. $4,000 safe drive bonus. I am pleased with that. Not enough money to upgrade the car, though. <coughs> so, can't get that done yet, but... That's okay. Should be able to get it done after this race. And then since I have just had to blow, oof, what would it be? That'd be the, about $55,000 on upgrades on this car. I am going to see if at the very least it can do well in the special event. <laughs> Three, two, one, go! Okay. Good start. I'll be honest, I'm still not completely sure my way around this track. As shows there. Hopefully the extra speed can make up for my lack of knowledge. Oh, oh, oh. Alright, obviously no safe drive bonus, but... I mean... That was kind of road raging, wasn't it? The guy just swerved into me. He went from the left side of the road, along the dirt actually, to all the way on the right hand side. I mean, that was. That was super aggressive. Um. Explain that physics. I mean, they're running off the track. Fair enough, makes perfect sense. But what happened to the car after that? I have no idea. There was a tree. I was to the right of the tree. Then the car was in the tree. And yes, I was out of control throughout that whole section just then. It was a battle against the car to get it back into a straight line. You're in second place. It's the final lap. I was just waiting for him to say that. Um, yeah, it was a battle to get the car back into a straight line. But it was a battle I'm pleased to say I won. I 
won that one. Yeah. Fight. And I'm back into first. Damaged car. But back in first. Ah, I don't know why, I'm just never expecting that turn to be that. I always think, oh, the tight turn was the one earlier. But it wasn't, it was that one. Come on Ferrari, put that power down. I don't know why you struggle so much. Hey, you hit me as well, mate. I'm gonna battle you. Is slipstreaming a thing on this game? Ah! Stop going in front of me and braking, mate! I'm trying to pass you! The car's making funny noises now. I think it's because I landed on that guy. That's your best life. <coughs> you won the race. Ha! Huh. Yeah, he ended up in fourth anyway. Will it end up in fourth? Three. Obviously not very good. Congratulations! You've got a top time for this track. Uh, what's the damage on the car? That's what matters. <laughs> Half our money gone. Ah, oh, dear. Okay, let's see if we get visual changes. Yes, we've got a, a, a body kit now. And the car is very slightly better accelerating. It's weird. The extra horsepower increases top speed, yet the better aerodynamics increases acceleration. I would have thought you'd see those effects more the other way around. But acceleration will be useful on this track because, well, there's a lot of accelerating. Handling will be useful. There's a lot of handling. Top speed. I mean, there's a couple of high, you know, high speed sections, but three, two, mainly acceleration one, and handling. Go. Okay, super Ferrari, because now you are super fast. Okay, we're reverse to last time. Which, I can't even remember which way's forward anymore. Once again, starting in first place. Slight glance on the wall, it's okay. Safe drive bonus is gone, but that's okay. What matters is that we stop hitting the walls and keep our first place. Which It is a little tricky just because this car, as I said, it's, it's not like the BMW which was just a 
understeering pig and just really bad to drive. The problem we have here is the car is a good car to drive, but because you can't do any sort of fine controls with it, it it makes it very tricky. If you try driving You're in first place, it's the final lap. If you try driving your real life car everywhere, either mashing the throttle or mashing the brakes or you know steering very fast and aggressively, you're going to find it really, really hard to control the car. <coughs> Even if you're on a racetrack. Even if you're on a racetrack, if you don't get to use delicate controls, modulate the throttle and the brakes, it's not going to end well. And the problem is, that's kind of what's happening here. In the slower cars, it doesn't really matter. You can kind of overcome that, you know, because of game physics are so sensitive that it will pitch you into a wall. But as you get faster and faster cars, it effectively becomes more and more sensitive. Maybe you just have to... Wow, that was big. Maybe you just have to... Um, I don't know, just tap everything real quick. I don't know. It might work. I'll try that. Uh, I've got a couple seconds. Oh, there's a finish line. That's your best lap! You won the race! I'm going to assume that Ranger gave me a toot of commendation, you know, like, well done fellow racer, you, you won the race. Bit of good sportsmanship there. Congratulations, you've beat the best time and lap record for this track. Cool. That's a good result. $2,000 worth of damage. Uh, I hope that the prize money at the end of this is a lot so that I don't have to do this race, this championship again. Anyway, I'll check out the special event and hopefully this car will do well in that and so I won't have to do this tournament again because, well, let's be honest, Doing the same tournament again and again is boring. At least this time though, unlike with the BMW, it's a very difficult time. BMW Three, Z3, I mean. two, one, go! Okay, we're in reverse. I don't remember. Guess it doesn't really matter anyway. Okay, as always, since we are in first, let's just try and keep the car off the walls. The track is mirrored. <coughs> Little sideways, but we're okay. We're okay. I 
I did have a break there because I figured, hey, there's a jump, and there'll probably be a turn afterwards, and I can't remember which way the turn goes. It's the final lap! Thank you for telling me. Good to know I'm still in first place. Okay, we've got a nice lead now. Three seconds. It's not the biggest lead, but... Close to the end, we've got a three second lead. Bring it carefully through the cobblestones. Again, I'm. The car should be able to come from where I brake there, should be able to come to a nice safe speed for the turn. But the problem is, I've been having to That's your feather the brakes, basically, you won the race. in order to make sure the back doesn't come out. So then it takes longer to slow the car down, even though the car shouldn't need longer to slow down. It requires it in order to prevent the car from spinning. It just means you Congratulations. have to be more careful You've got a think. top time for this track. And I'm not expecting to have to be that careful. So I'm running deep into that turn. Ah, five and a half thousand dollars safe drive bonus. That's nice. We are far enough ahead now that we cannot lose the championship. So we've won. Which is lovely, I think, considering <laughs> last time ended up in fourth. Now I've already won it. Before we even go into the last race. So, I try not to wreck the car again on that bridge. Sorry, it wasn't a bridge, it was a tunnel. I wrecked the car in a tunnel. Three, two, one, go! Okay, good start. We've got a good gap on our rivals and straight into a wall. Don't look at the split times, Brendan. You need to watch where you're going. You don't know this track. Don't get overconfident. That is how you wreck. Overconfident people will make mistakes. That being said, being too nervous is also bad. You know those nervous drivers, the ones that can't make a decision? 
they put their signal on because they want to change lanes and instead of you know, picking a gap and moving over they start weaving back and forth in their own lane as they're looking over their shoulders trying to see is that person letting me in? is there a gap there? I don't know and then they start tapping the brakes slowing down and then if you weren't letting them in you might start slowing down saying look here's the gap I'm giving it to you and then suddenly all traffic is building up Hopefully those people aren't in Ferraris and end up skidding sideways across the roadway in front of you, like I just did. I mean, you can block if you want. It's not going to end well. You're in first place. It's the final lap. I am dicing with this guy now. I don't know who it is, but I'm not going to make the mistake of looking back again. Every time I've looked back in these videos to see who I'm, who's right behind me, I've... ended up in a wall. I don't think those guys are happy that I was in front. Well then, my nemesis nemesis. I'm gonna get by you now. And now I must catch up to Ranger. Probably when I know this track I'll actually be able to drive it properly. That was bad. Oh, that was a lift. That should be pretty obvious what happened. Yes, Brendan, it was obvious. You just crashed. Yep. That's exactly what happened. <coughs> okay. I've got the faster car. They're still in sight. I still have a chance. Like that. That's your best lap. You won the race. Ah, again, he must have been saying, well done. That's that's why he beeped the horn, right? He he beeped it to say well done. Yeah, he would have beeped it to say well done. He wouldn't be saying anything like, "You suck," you know, "You're a terrible driver." Congratulations! You that. You've got a top time for this track. Right. He was saying, "Well done." You were a worthy adversary. That's what he said. Congratulations. You have won the gold trophy! Go! Cool. 146,000 dollars. That should get us a nice car. Anyway, with that success, thank you very much for watching, guys. Until next time, goodbye.